It was a pretty simple project and a simple task, but we had an opportunity to do it well. It's easy to make something complicated, but it's difficult to make something simple and beautiful. The main priority, obviously, was building a station. It was what they called their large format. It housed three full-size rigs, nine dorms, and a training and hazmat facility for coverage out in the Great Park area where they're building new homes and need additional level of emergency support. It was very important for us to coordinate closely with them, have a lot of dialogue back and forth about what they were really looking for in their, in their new home. Growing up watching cartoons when you see fire stations, you always see a, a two level structure and you always see a fire pole, maybe three fire poles. When there's an emergency, you know, you would see all the firemen just coming down it. You know? And that's definitely not what a modern fire station is these days we have to design the station to be in emergency response mode and that comes with a lot of tight coordination between all the MEP systems but then again we also need it to be a home. OCFA and the Irvine company work together to purchase a new tractor-drawn aerial 76-foot piece of equipment and when these vehicles are running indoors they're obviously releasing carbon monoxide out of the exhaust pipe and with the door shut we need to be able to work with that. Even if it's not running there's always off-gassing so just that alone is enough to make sure that the firefighters have health and well-being. We have what's called a Plyme event system, which is effectively a snorkel that connects to the exhaust pipes, all of which needs to be ducted out and out of the building and exhausted from the roof. The kitchen and the dining room are probably one of my favorites. We have some very simple massing in this project. It's a very simple and modest but controlled kit of parts. And the way that we opened up the corners of a lot of the different areas of the station lend themselves well to natural daylight. With that came the higher level of priority on making sure it matched the vernacular of the Great Park. We went to some of the neighboring buildings and wanted to make sure that we were sensitive to some of the established architectural trends that were in the area. That's the, the modern fire station. It's, it's not like when you drive through the city and, and on the street and you automatically know it's a fire station. You can't even tell anymore because it's so integrated with the building.